When you meditate, it's food for the mind. You give the mind something nourishing to think about. You start with thoughts of goodwill. That's a nourishing thought. And allow your goodwill to spread around. And it's nourishing to be able to have goodwill for all. You might go through the list of people you have trouble having goodwill for. Once you've established an attitude of goodwill, then you go through this list. Is there any reason why you can't wish for that person to understand the causes or to happiness and act on them? Because that's what goodwill is. It's not worth it that we're saying, okay, may you be happy whatever you're doing. It's may you actually act on the causes for to happiness, understand them, and have the desire and the strength to do it. You wish that for yourself, you wish that for all beings. In other words, you're not going to make your happiness be based on doing any harm to anybody. And that right there is a nourishing thought, the good quality of your good intentions. As the Buddha said, our intentions are a form of food for the mind. And when, then we bring our intention to be still with the breath, to stick with the breath. It may not be all that successful in the beginning, but the intention itself is a good intention, so it's a good one to stick with. And then gradually as the breath becomes more comfortable and the mind begins to open up to the breath, the breath can have a good, better influence on the body because the body opens up to the breath as well. That sense of ease and well-being, a sense of fullness that comes that way, that can be food for you too. So the mind is always going through the day eating things, feeding on this, feeding on that. Give it something good to feed on. If you find it slipping away, remind yourself, okay, you're going towards junk food right now. You want to come back to the food that's going to be good for you. If you can keep that image in mind as you go through the day, that you're here with the breath, not just to force the mind to be still or to be with whatever comes up. Whenever something comes up, you know that it's there, but then you say, well, what's the best way to fix this so that it's good food to eat? That can give you a lot of encouragement to keep you going. Sometimes the day gets long. So remind yourself you're not just sitting here and doing something empty or something tasteless, something bland. You're doing something to find good food inside. Because when you finally learn how to fix this food inside, you find it goes really deep inside, the gratification. And that becomes the energy you have in order to keep on doing good in the world, good for yourself, good for other people. Because you've got this good source of food inside. 